Não, a ideia dessa, dessa apresentação aqui, o Amir é um velho conhecido da casa da UTFR, e também lá do tempo que eu, eu e outros professores aqui dos nossos programas, eram professores lá na Universidade Positivo também, que também trabalham bastante com a gente lá. E ele, olha, vocês um dia tiverem a oportunidade de conversar com ele sobre assuntos do Brasil, vocês vão notar que ele conhece o Brasil melhor do que a gente, né? Ah, eu não sei se você vai querer aparecer, de repente já está se sentindo confortável, você vai querer falar em português, em inglês, não, do jeito que for. Eu vou tentar. Mas pode fazer, está todo mundo avisado aqui que a princípio a palestra ia ser em inglês, né? Uh, mas para você já sabe que vocês podem fazer perguntas em, em português também. Uh, o Amir é um professor da área de administração. Né? Uh, o foco de pesquisa dele sempre foi na área de finanças, acho que já comentou um pouquinho com vocês aqui uh, sobre isso. Mais recentemente ele, ele começou uma empresa, né? Então, ele tem uma startup né? dessa área de finanças, muito ligada aí à tentativa de uso de uh, bom, processamento de linguagem natural, mas para chegar lá na, na, vamos dizer, no, na automatização de muitas das atividades, principalmente em de Valores, é isso. É exatamente isso. Então, eu, que estou muito curioso em Bolsa de Valores, estou muito interessado em saber o que o Amir tem para dizer para a gente hoje. Então, Amir, como dizem os amigos lá, the floor is yours. Ah, eu vou ficar fazendo um sinalzinho para você só vir para cá, vai para lá, para a gente conseguir encaixar na câmera, porque tem gente assistindo à distância também. Tá bom? Muito, muito obrigado, obrigado Alexandre. Muito obrigado, Alexandre, pela, pela introdução. Muito, muito obrigado pelo convite. Uh, os amigos, muito obrigado por pela assistir uh, nessa palestra. Uh, na verdade, a ideia da palestra começou uh, há um, qualquer meses, eu acho no outubro. Outubro do ano passado. Outubro do ano passado, exatamente, a gente falou uh, sobre o que eu estava fazendo. Eu disse a Alexandre que eu, agora eu deixei o um mundo acadêmico e eu, agora eu trabalho sobre a aplicação de tratamento de textos na área da finança. E uh, a este momento, a gente, quando falou de, de esse assunto, uh, foi uh, o período antes do uh, chat GPT. Uh, desde esse momento, o chat GPT aconteceu. E por isso, eu me disse, se eu vou falar de uh, NLP, Natural Language Processing e tudo, uh, eles poderiam pedir a mesma coisa de chat GPT, e o chat GPT provavelmente vai dar uma palestra melhor do que eu poderia apresentar. Por isso, eu me disse, eu vou apresentar uma coisa que é mais, mais especial, uma coisa que eles não poderiam conseguir deixar na internet. Por isso, eu vou apresentar o que, exatamente o que nós fazemos na Lídia, que é uma coisa completamente diferente de ChatGPT, mas mostra como a gente poderia ter, trabalhar sobre esse, esse área de tratamento de textos sem fazer uh, NLP. Eu vou dar uma pequena apresentação também da, da NLP, uh, no introdução, mas o que nós vamos uh, falar é o que uh, nessa, uh, nessa método que nós uh, utilizamos agora. Então, eu vou... Eu vou uh, eu, I'm going to speak in uh, English, because it's going to be really difficult for me. I'm going to be... No, really, I mean a slow pace, I'm going to explain. Uh, if you if happen that you couldn't really understand, please, please ask questions. It's going to be really my pleasure. I'm going to also try I mean, to, to keep I mean uh, one hour. I will mean, yep. try I mean yeah, just I mean to not really to uh, to 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 go uh, the, the the people here, but uh, I'm going to stick I mean to one hour, even if there is so much I mean to explain. Okay. Uh, just I mean a brief presentation of the NLP, natural language processing. You know, as you know, uh, essentially even if you want I mean really to uh, apply the uh, uh, the data in the real world, this data are numbers your data series. Without data series, we cannot really apply mathematics and neither statistics. But the problem is that if you only I mean, look at data series, we are going to leave aside a major part of the human science, which are the texts. The sex texts are full of information. But so far, we haven't uh, transmitted them to data, the data series. We cannot treat them. We cannot apply all the really uh, savvy information that we have in terms of the, the, the models, algorithms, and uh, machine learning, deep learning, all the things that we, you, I suppose that you have, I mean, some, some familiarity with it, or you are going to have, I mean, in your, in your, in your studies. So uh, about just very recently, for the really scale of science is really recent, uh, since the 90s, Some people have started really to, to realize maybe we can just, uh, by some easy techniques, uh, transform text to data. So they started to really by really basic ideas. For example, they said, let's take, for example, a text. Say that, for example, I am 
here and just cut any of these sentences and the text, for example, in what they call tokens. The tokens. And just I need to say, for example, take this, hold this, and look, for example, in the corpora of text. Suppose, for example, in the, uh, in a, uh, for example, the text of law, the civil law, for example. For example, they apply it to that, and they say that how many times each word appeared, for example, in a text. So they give, for example, uh, they, they say that uh, this, for example, this uh, I, they have been, for example, three times, as been seen, for example, in a text. Uh, this A, uh, M, for example, one. This, uh, for example, two times. And then they create, I mean, a kind of matrix, which is called, I mean, the, uh, the document term, term document, term document uh, matrix. Term document uh, matrix. And this, they use this matrix to use, for example, the, in the real life applications. For example, they can say, if they take this, for example, this is the uh, Brazilian civil law text, in order to compare it, for example, to see it is closer to which other uh, text law, or for example, which country. They're going just to take, you know, I mean, these are vectors, matrices, and uh, tensors, and they can, I mean, easily, you know, just, I mean, you take the coordinates of the of the, the vectors, and you can say, see, I mean, how close they are. So, in terms of the classification of uh, classification, this is this was, I mean, a fantastic tool. So, this natural. Language process. In general, I mean, it's based on this. Okay, this is really basic of that, and if you can go really far with that, with this matrix and all that, you can, I mean, apply the different machine learning models. You can apply really the deep learning. Everything you have, I mean, a set of data. The thing is that the problem that uh, we have uh, with this kind of uh, studying is that. If you want that this data to be accurate, you need a huge amount of this data. That you give it, I mean, as an input, input to, for example, a model, which is we are talking, you know, in general, they are the uh, natural, uh, natural network models. For example, you know, they have uh, different kind of uh, artificial and different kind of uh, artificial natural network networks. And you give a huge amount of data as input to your model. And this model, I mean, can, for example, generate uh, and answer the questions that you have every day, for example, problems. You say, for example, how we can really orient the traffic, uh, for example, to be the, I mean, the better, given the text that the people are sending in the morning to each other, if you study that, the things of all that. So this is really great. Natural language uh, processing does a really great job on that. You can go, there is, I mean, so much, I mean, techniques that um, are part of natural language processing can help you really to, to understand, I mean, the idea here. Incredibly simple, you don't have even need, I mean, a degree in mathematics to understand what is, I mean, the uh, So this is, I mean, whole, I mean, the idea. The thing is that to go beyond this, that since, I mean, you are just cutting a sentence, the text, only to tokens, you break the meaning of the text. You cannot really understand what it means. If the idea was to understand what is a text, this is not the way to do that. You just I mean, to try to classify things. You just uh, try I mean, to understand, to guess what is the next word which is going to come. Which is, I mean, as all we know, is the famous chat GPT. Which is doing that. There is, I mean, billions of data, which is, I mean, uh, given to this, uh, I think it is, uh, it is 61 level of, uh, of analysis. And it says that when, I, uh, when you, for example, uh, ask a question, each uh, word is, uh, is guess, it guesses, I mean, what is the next word is going to be, given the billions of the text that it has already uh, treated before, okay? So this is all this. But as we were talking with, uh, with Professor Grameo, uh, uh, this ChatGPT has many problems that are really the, the essential problems. It is these problems are the problems exactly that could really help us. And the places that it really need I mean, help, it cannot be helpful. So this is, I mean, for this reason that we at Lydia, we use an alternative thing. What does it mean, alternative uh, I mean, solution? Alternative solution is that we want to treat text, okay? If you want to treat, treat text, text, comes from a field which is called linguistic. We cannot understand how to treat a text and how understand what is behind without understanding the theories of language. But nobody here 
is really interested in the theory of language. Maybe, I mean, for example, in the sideline, there is some people who went to see, for example, what Chomsky at MIT said, for example, uh, 50 years ago. Uh, a little bit, I mean, have an idea about that. But finally, this is, I mean, the, the thing that's going to solve the problem. And not, for example, knowing what is, I mean, the structure of the sentences, how the humans are really communicating, what is, I mean, the manner that, the reason that you are putting them this way, whether, I mean, there is a reason that you, why you don't wait, am I here? So all the things are put aside. So at Lydia, what we are doing, we are going back to really in history. <laughs> exactly. We dive in the history to find, I mean, the, the, the solutions. I just want to say, I mean, to say <laughs> that you don't know. No, right. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. You're the cameraman here. See, see, you're just that guy, the, the little. Yeah, exactly. I'm the fourth <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what people are seeing, so this is why. Yeah, it is really, I want to, I'm so narcissistic. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I just wanted to have you together with uh, what? Uh, who this is, this is Adam Smith. Adam Smith, Adam Smith okay. yeah, the father of the modern. David Hume, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. David Hume, yeah, no, 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 that is, uh, you were close, but I mean, they were all dressed the same at the time period, you know? The same? Well, wow. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Adam Smith. This is Denis Diderot. Denis Diderot, who... D'Alembert? Yeah, uh, uh, no, D'Alembert. I, oh, uh, yeah, I could also put uh, in the photo of uh, D'Alembert, but uh, Diderot was uh, most, uh, more photogenic. This is why okay. I put Diderot. <laughs> and this is, I mean, maybe probably maybe many people they don't know, but it's de Marsay, who was also a um, person who really helped a lot to write the encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. So this is, these two are, uh, and, you know, in the French culture, we call them the, uh, the encyclopedists, the, the, those who really wrote the famous encyclopedia of the science in the middle of the, at the end of the, the uh, 18th century. And uh, here we have also the father of the mother. The kind. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that, mm, so uh, why we are showing them, uh, I go, I mean, uh, from more recent uh, times to, uh, to back in the time. At Lydia, we are based on a theory of language, which is developed. Uh, right in the 70s by a researcher at Sorbonne who's called Jeanine Galliamono, which is also, I mean, actually my, my partner, I mean, the, the, the owner of the, the community, Lydia, she had launched, I mean, the Lydia. Uh, and uh, so what, I mean, happened, uh, Jeanine Galliamono was doing a thesis on the language. And at the same time, she was teaching in a, uh, in a university, which was, I mean, the major thing was economics. So she was a professor of English. So she was just teaching, for example, microeconomics. Giving every microeconomics text to the students and they were studying and she was helping them to understand. But she herself, she had a really big problem is that she knew, uh, for example, when she was reading a, the sentence in microeconomics, microeconomics, other I mean the text in economics, she knew every single word, but she, when she was reading the, the sentence, she couldn't understand the meaning. And it was so frustrating for her. She said uh, to herself, what makes the human understand the sentence if it's not knowing the uh, meaning of each word? So why, why don't understand the sentence? I know each word, what does it mean? So she said, okay, I need, I need to go to the beginning of the economic science to see how they developed that. Maybe there is something there that I didn't grasp here. So she started really to read about, uh, read about the, the, read the book of Adam Smith, if I'm not mistaken, the Wealth of Nations, which was, I mean, the foundation of the modern economics. It really explains how really the this famous, uh, you know, invisible hands work, which is, I mean, they relates the, the baker to the to the other side of the, the, the economy. The baker makes, I mean, bread and sells, I mean, the sewing. It creates, I mean, the value and all that. So uh, then she realized that. Uh, Adam Smith was in close relationship with the encyclopedists. She read, I mean, the correspondence, and she realized that in the correspondence, the, uh, the, uh, the um, encyclopedists, they are talking about the problem that they had when they were writing the encyclopedia that could help Adam Smith to really better write, I mean, this uh, book, which was, I mean, the foundation of economics. So really, just like I mean, it's a, just like I mean, the polar. I mean, just like I mean, you know, the the uh, the police, uh, the action, the thing. She just little by little took and found, I mean, these uh, people at encyclopedia. At when these people, I mean, they were writing writing encyclopedia, they, they realized they had a huge problem. They were going to represent all the science that's known to human in a book. Actually, uh, it's a very small volumes. I, I don't know exactly how many volumes it is, but uh, they were going to I mean, to explain all the science of the world. But the, the problem that they had, they had to explain concepts. And some of these concepts, they weren't really explained by, by sentences, by, not explained by the, by the words. So they said, what we do? 
to explain each concept, should we start to create new words, new, new, they just mix yellow, create new words, or we don't bother, we just, I mean, put some words together by association of words, we create, I mean, you explain the concepts. I'll give you an example. For example, everybody knew what is interest, you know, interest, you pay for a debt, you borrow and you need I mean, to pay interest. And everybody knew, I mean, uh, the, uh, the rate, rate, I mean, you, when you go from 1%, it means that how many, I mean, the slots can increase, decrease all that. So they put together interest rate and they created a new concept, you see? So they didn't, I mean, create really, really rare amount of the, it's really a, slow, a small amount of the, uh, the concept that the words they have created themselves. They just use always the association of the word. This, uh, in fact, oh, this guy, I mean, Dumarsé, who was uh, from Marseille, also, he helped a lot. He said that by association of the, of the words, we can really, the humans, finally, the humans communicate by associating uh, the, the words. If I'm explaining, if you understand what I'm saying, it is not because you understand every single word that I'm saying. You understand that this, uh, the association that I make, makes you, I mean, to understand the concepts that are transmitted to you. So by ba coming back to, to this and to, to getting I mean, to Adam Smith, so Jenny said that, okay, so the, I'm going to uh, concentrate on the fact that in a sentence, the, the associations make the concept. But how I can understand how these associations are made? How I can say, for example, uh, interest goes with rate, or for example, something I mean, goes with another one or another. One of, the, uh, one of the solutions that came up that really helped also, uh, which is, is a sideline and solution, is that she, you, she understood that actually the humans, they are not uh, using grammar to make themselves understand. Grammar, and it was really, really badly received when she presented them in her thesis at Sorbonne, because there was a huge grammaticians, I mean, they, were, they had, the guy had passed, I mean, all his life, you know, grammar, and she was saying that grammar works nothing in the transmission of in communication. Grammar is just a set of rules to well speaking. Okay? This is happens, I mean, since I, I learned Portuguese, you know, my grammar is really uh, nil, nil, nil. So I can't really, difficult, it's so difficult for me, I mean, so, you know, the my uh, perfeito, futuro perfeito, and all that's really difficult for me, I mean, to, to, to use. But, Alexandre, do you, do you understand me? Yeah, Don't you? Sure. Yeah. So it is, I mean, because I can uh, somehow make association of palabras. That's, I mean, the most important thing. The, uh, even without, I mean, the applying correctly the grammar, we can, I mean, communicate, because we can, I mean, uh, we pass, I mean, the concept through association of the, of the sentence. So, so she said, if there is not grammar, so what makes that uh, you, under you understand what is the main idea that I'm talking about? She realized that syntax, Syntax is what makes you really understand this is exactly what he wanted to say. So syntax is that, uh, we call it, I mean, the, what she, she developed, it's called the relative value of language. You see the relative relation between, I mean, the, the, uh, the words and tokens that we are making. So the, this, I mean, in this uh, syntax is that, I'll give you a real example, to the easy example. I say that, for example, uh, uh, for example, I say, Alexandre, cuidado. Uh, the syntax that I put it, that put, I mean, it's not Alexandre is important, I mean, in the sentence, is cuidado, which is, I mean, important. Here, or another sentence, when I said, uh, Amir and Alexandre, uh, Alexandre uh, dando uma palestra, then this sentence, the manner that I make, I mean, the, the syntax, it's neither Amir, neither Alexandre is important, it's the, it's the palestra, which is important. It's these syntaxes that really makes us really to emphasize on the ideas that we want really to trust. Okay, so after this uh, uh, long uh, presentation, we can say that I give, I mean, make a I mean, brief uh, presentation, and then I'm going to explain to you in a step by step how we apply this uh, theory of language, which is this uh, relative uh, value of language that we are calling this our analysis. Uh, it is uh, uh, so, as I said, it's on the association of ideas and they where they are placed in the sentence. The sentence. Can I ask? Uh, of course, sure. sure. Uh, so, so a word like this. Um, um, just an example, Google Translate. Exactly. To gain scale, all the sentences from input and output, they pass through English. Exactly. Internally. Mm -hmm. And that's where translation is bad, I imagine, for a word like this. Exactly. So, uh, to extract this information from text, the essential, let's say, training of the, the thing should uh, 
consider the syntax of the language? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, are, are you classifying languages like Roman languages, Germanic languages, or are you basically going, okay, English, German? Uh, that's that's a really great uh, question because uh, the, so far, as soon as you can, I mean, you understand that syntax is important. Every single language in the world applies syntax. Syntax is, I mean, something universal. You always, I mean, apply the syntax. So it is not. Uh, we don't need, I mean, to say that which language is a member of the Indo-European, for example, languages or proto uh, thing to understand uh, uh, whether I mean, the method that we need to apply. What we do, uh, we have applied this uh, method to, uh, I think, uh, more than 19 languages, 17, 19 languages, uh, Japanese also included. We had, I mean, for example, of the most difficult, I mean, has been, I mean, Polish, for example. But what is it? Is that uh, we study, I mean, the language. Somehow we take, for example, 500 pages. Something which is, I mean, the conversation, or for example, uh, we can, can take also text of law, but the text of law, there is not so much, I mean, syntax in the really uh, important. It's good, I mean, to see if somebody is speaks, or somebody, I mean, written something. So we look at the thing, uh, we translate it in English, absolutely, but we see, I mean, how the structure of the sentence, and how they use syntax. The syntactical manner, as soon as we see that, we need, I mean, to translate it, I mean, in English. But as soon as we see that, then we can say what is, I mean, the, the major idea that wants, I mean, to be, uh, to be translated. You see that? Yes. Uh, once the syntax is called related, how can we even uh, learn or teach the syntax of for different languages? Because in French, maybe it's once one, and in Portuguese is another. So Absolutely. how can we do it? Actually, I mean, as, as we said, we can, I mean, translate, you said, you said also, translate everything in English. Then once, I mean, they are translated in English, we can, I mean, under, in the intercept, how the structure of syntactical structure of the sentence is made. And then we can say, okay, the, here the syntax is working like this. And so this is, I mean, the major idea. This is, I mean, the other idea. Each language has different uses of I mean, syntax in a different manner. But once, I mean, you translate them and you see where, I mean, the syntax, I mean, is put, then I mean it's really easy. It's a, the application needs a little bit of training for our model. That's a, yeah, at least 500 pages of written or spoken or transcripts that we translate and we see where is I mean the syntax and what is I mean how the syntax is working. Then I mean this is really becomes a mere, but we translate everything but, in but every, yeah everything is translated to English. English. So exactly. now it seems you know Brazil and China are just starting to have uh, commercial exactly. bonds in which they are not going to use dollars any longer as the, the, the conversion money between the two countries. And now you're saying, well, we get rid of the dollar, but we don't get rid of, uh, of, you, of the you English. You mean language. always a <laughs> landmark, my friend. You mean always a benchmark. You cannot I mean, just I mean, do it so universally. So this is it. You, you bring, I mean, the structure of, uh, of syntax is different from language to the other one. You translate it in English, and you can understand what is, you know, not only trans translating, I mean, in a manner that, for example, Google Translate meant. Translating every word. Then you see, ah, uh, yeah. They have chunks, okay. But they have chunks, exactly. Oh. That, that makes them I mean, the, 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 uh, the meaning better, but yeah. But I, 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 I noticed that by a simple thing like gender, yeah. they try to work around on that, but they fail sometimes. Absolutely. It's because they need this intermediate step. Absolutely. So uh, um, the, uh, the syntax, I mean, the, the problem that we have is that if we, for example, we stay with the same language, we can say, I mean, we can I mean, call somebody who is specialized, for example, in Polish, and say that, look, I mean, where is I mean, you put the syntax and you do the thing. But then that person could also have a bias. But if I translate everything, I mean, in English, and see where is the syntax of a sentence, and then maybe, I mean, it is really, I have one benchmark. Mm -hmm. But for example, if I, for example, for each language, the Hebrew, for example, I have really call up and I mean, uh, to, for example, uh, this person who writes, I mean, Hebrew, or for example, Arabic and all that. That would be really difficult. Translating every word in uh, in English, then we see I mean how syntactical system works, and then it can I mean really apply on the model. Uh, but this, uh, the, the thing of syntax could be explained really I mean more in detail. I'm not really as specialized of that, but uh, I know that's really we need I mean this translation. Uh, so what I mean, so we have a software. What this software can do I mean this uh, job of intercepting what is really the main idea. Creates the, something that we call the hierarchy of ideas. I can tell you in a sentence what is I mean, the, the major idea and the rest that I'm going to explain I mean, later. It's really interesting. Uh, and we don't need I any mean, training. This is all based on training. If, for example, you hadn't, uh, as you put, given the uh, Wikipedia to ChatGPT, you know, they uh, OpenAI, they give it, they hadn't given I mean, all that to them, it couldn't really work. 
Uh, and you know the training is really uh, so consuming also energy is resolving some uh, problems in terms of the you know the sustainability and all that which could be I mean engaged uh, that we don't need that this is I mean uh, why because so far that uh, we have you have I mean a rule rule I mean could be applied in everything you don't need I mean to pre-train I mean for something you pre-train because your basis is really so basic you just cut I mean a, a text in just tokens and you do all this but for us is taking this is important the association and know how what is important of this so I'll explain I mean more I mean in detail so um, and we can I mean, go further in the in term of the uh, we can also uh, do what is the sentimental uh, analysis which is one of the most uh, most important application of NLP is sentiment analysis we do our, our, also our sentiment analysis what is not really the major core thing that would really interest uh, so what I mean the application in finance also I'm going to, uh, to, to jump on this but then I go back to, to, the, to the video. The problem that we have in financial market and the markets is that exactly what I started my presentation. The major information that you need to position your, yourself in financial markets is in text data, not in a numeric data. The fact that what I mean uh, results uh, accounting and financial performance of a company last year have been is absolutely, you can say it absolutely cannot really help you for its future. But the, the manner that the CEO talks about its company and the manner it presents the, what they are going to the future, this is if we can decide for that, we can have an insight about where the company is going. Whether there is a, a huge uh, pitfalls in uh, front, because you know the CEO knows always something that they don't know. Uh, they try I mean, to, to to wake up some information, to pass some information, but they don't say everything because because some different I mean uh, obligations that they have. We can somehow, if we can decipher I mean the ideas behind the sentences that this uh, C CEO makes, then maybe we can I mean have some insight. And we can I mean we have realized we have just I mean recently we had I mean our proof of concept on that I'm going to show you. So let's go I mean I don't get so much I mean in the, in the, the financial thing. Okay. So how does this work? How our uh, method works? There is three steps. First, we uh, distinguish the level of communication. We say that uh, the, uh, the software goes through the text and says that, look, for example, here this, this, um, yeah, this part is talking about this concept and gives, I mean, this hierarchy. It says that this is, I mean, the first thing that the person wants to say, second, and no. Then uh, we calculate, I mean, the, since I mean these levels of communication, they have each score. We have given them the score. We say I mean, if it's a main idea, we give them I mean, this score. If it's a second idea, we, this, we give this score. So there is, I mean, a score. So we get there, we don't, it's not so per play the, the, based on the, the frequency. If I say, for example, uh, 10,000 times a year in a sentence, maybe I mean that uh, the word here is not this, the thing that's really important for me. I need it, I mean, to say it because just emphasize, I mean, the, the venue that I am. So this. We are going to just I mean, go beyond this problem by just giving a uh, value to each uh, idea, which is I mean the same for um, it's a fixed I mean um, value, it's a parameter, uh, and also it gives I mean the, the association about the ideas. It's, uh, really, we say that uh, <coughs> and here are associated. But I explain I mean all the, the, the syntax. Then uh, we say, for example, this am is a part of something is the person, for example. So person is becomes our subject. Then from now on, we are not going to treat them in um, and is not really important anymore for us. We say that person is a subject and person becomes an idea. Person, we are going to talk about person from now on. Um, or for example, the uh, the let's go for example, I don't know, Fernanda, they are also part of person. So then we get I mean, to another uh, concept is that when we talk about people, there is an idea about these people. So person becomes an idea. So I just, I mean, I'm going to present you this idea. And then uh, the, also we can, I mean, some, some uh, a group of subjects, they can create, I mean, a theme at another level and all that. I don't want to get, I mean, inside of that because it's not really as the core of the idea. This is more details of what we do in terms of the really yeah. acting on the job that we are doing. Uh, so then we calculate, we can calculate based on that, we can calculate the, we can say the main idea, how much, I mean, the, how much the value of the main, the main idea here. Uh, what is, I mean, the sentiment of this the main idea? 
what is its a utility? Utility for us it is important right of an idea. And what is the satisfaction? And we can say, for example, look, a CEO, CEO of a company is speaking, okay? I calculate its satisfaction. Uh, today, uh, it has a satisfaction of 25. I can compare it to satisfaction of the last year, or last month, or for example, next month, next year. And I see, I mean, the fluctuation of his satisfaction. Satisfaction means how happy it is uh, that he is or she is uh, about what's happening to, uh, every day. So this is an information that uh, necessarily we don't know. The fact that he's less happy than last month, that shows that maybe something is happening that we don't know. Maybe the, the market is going to realize that or learn something that is not yet, I mean, it has been hidden. He knows, we don't know. And the stock prices could fall when this information gets, I mean, public. So this is, I give you I an mean, exact uh, example of that you're going to see. The next one, please. Okay, these are the levels of communication. So when we study a text, we can tell you what is the main idea, what is the second and third idea. Actually, I mean, they are, they are supporting, I mean, this argument. The main, I mean, argument is that. I can tell you. Uh, for example, if a CEO is talking, the, his concern is really the idea he wants really to talk about is the product, is innovation, is inflation, or something. Maybe he has talked I mean, once about inflation, but we given any the model that we have, inflation has the highest score. See that? So, then prospective. I can tell you where, where which, uh, the toward which objective it is going. The, you know, the CEO says that. Uh, maybe I mean he explains. Yeah, it's great that we develop things, all that and all that. But you don't understand where he wants. I mean, or she wants to go. We can find them. It's prospective. We can tell you where, toward which I mean, objectives this uh, person is going. We can tell. I mean, he wants to get I mean, into this objective. What uh, what the, what he the, or she needs. We can tell uh, needs wants aspiration. Uh, what is the basic on which it is based? For example, uh, says that. Uh, we can understand that when it says, uh, "Yeah, we had I mean some uh, some raw materials uh, prices that were interesting." I can tell you this was I mean on which it's based. If it's going toward this uh, prospect, if they are going to develop a product, because he's talking about the prices, uh, raw material prices are lower. For example, you see the basic of this uh, thing. There is some uh, also you know connectors. For example, you know to at the things like that that we don't use. I mean, we give uh, the, the, we don't I mean care empty words. There is also a little bit the small talk also. And finally, there is uh, something which is action. It means that uh, what uh, the, uh, the the CEO thinks that should be done, what should be done. We can say I mean that uh, we can intercept that. We can identify that. So the numbers that you are seeing here are the scores that we give. For example, if here, here, if it is suppose well. When the, I tell you that I mean it's a small talk, it gets one. Okay? But the interesting thing is that when it gets one, since am and here are associated, then it gets one and it gets also the score of what am has. Suppose that am has a score of three. So a score of here is going to be four. You see that? So this makes that the frequency only is not important. The, is the importance that the speaker gives to what he or she is speaking is really important. So in the same, the same text speech, yeah. the word here we have different. The different exactly, you got it. it the, the, here, here could be a, a, a small talk. Another place could be, for example, main idea. So this is why I mean the score is different. But at the end, so all in all. Then I'm going to finish I mean, the analysis of this text. Suppose, for example, it's uh, uh, the 10 pages or the 500 pages. I can tell you, okay, the, uh, uh, the here, which is part of, for example, say, uh, uh, use I mean, here, let's say, uh, the, uh, the venue. The venue has a weight, which is a score, of, for example, 135. So that here, score. the room where we're having this speech here it's was very important, important, right? It was very important. important. <laughs> So of course, I mean this is I mean the absolute value. As we know, I mean we can calculate. I mean to normalize the thing, you divide. I mean by the average and all that. You know, that's what we do. Actually. Just I wanted to show you. So venue is uh, is 135, and uh, if they are, for example, the the main idea, uh, venue has 135. The person has, for example, 130, 
and etc. So you see, I mean, I have a classification of the uh, the ideas. If this, for example, main idea, if this action, so I see what is I mean the ranking. This is the first one. This is the second one, third one. So the main idea, <coughs> you see, in the main idea, the the idea, the concept of venue is the first. Yeah, the concept of person is second. So I'll explain. I mean, later how it, this could be really, I mean, to be interesting to to apply in the real world. So this is, I mean, really the major feature of what we do at Lydia. Nobody can do that so far. Uh, if you look, I mean, on the on the syntax, of course, I mean, you can make the thing. But this is what coming from the uh, the theory that has been developed by uh, Janin in the 70s. The next one. Thank you. This is, I mean, an example of that. Just, I mean, I took picture up directly. I mean, because it's a little bit, I think, I mean, just secretive. So, uh, just I took, I mean, a picture of the screen. So, this is the speech of the CEO of Microsoft. CEO of Microsoft is talking um, about, I mean, the, what they have done during the last three months and what they're going to do during the next three months. So look, here it, say, it says, so this is, I mean, a paragraph. It says, uh, this quarter we announced um, Office 365 uh, thread. Uh, intelligence which analyzes billions of signals across Office, Azure, Windows, and external data sources uh, to give customers road visibility into. Oh, sorry, I was looking for the period. Period was here after the Windows. I said why it continues. There is, I mean, a period, and this continues with the end. This is a transcript. I mean, he has taught and just, I mean, become I mean, a transcript. Great of we talk, I mean, to use. So, as you see, you see, for example, you know, quarter. Can you go back? Yeah, go back, you mean? Uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, the periphery, periphery. Actually, quarter for him is main idea. The quarter, the, the quarter is so important for him. It's actually the product is not important. He says this quarter. The syntax, the emphasis has been put on this quarter. So this quarter, quarter is important for him. If you read, I mean, can you go back, please? Sure. Good. If you read the thing, you say you think I mean this announcement or the the office, this product is important. Actually, they are not really as important. Is they are green, which is I mean a kind of uh, you know a small talk or the action. Uh, the other thing is that, for example, uh, this is text analysis, right? So uh, you're not info, you're not uh, checking the emphasis uh, he gives on on his speech. Like for Actually, because that, that, that could be an improvement of that. Actually, right? the, thanks to uh, the emphasis you mean, I mean, you mean uh, uh, intonation. 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 Oh, yeah, intonation. Yeah. intonation, absolutely. I mean, there is some people that started, I mean, they started to work on the intonation that, you know, raising the, the, the sound and all that. I was, thinking, I was thinking that when you were explaining happy versus not happy, then, okay, so there is this component of meaning that is the position, the association, the things, but there is also intonation. You know, they, uh, if you can really, uh, this is uh, actually, I mean, going to happen. I mean, this is not really far future. We are not still, I mean, working on that. But uh, if you uh, use, because we have also the audio uh, of the the calls. Uh, this is, I mean, I'll explain what it, uh, what is exactly. How. We have the audio. So if you study, I mean, the, the intonation of the audio, you can, I mean, parameterize that and give a score to that, and you match it with the, what the text that we are doing. Wow. You're going to get so much information. That's really, really going to get. Yeah, on the third stage, maybe the video, and you see when it's smiling. Yeah, smiling, the face recognition. I mean, absolutely. You're, you got it. I mean, one hundred percent. We are in a. You can say it is a one-dimensional uh, sound can create. I mean, the second dimension, and absolutely. I mean, the video, the third dimension. We are getting to the. What I can. You know, you know, I mean, the the amount of the calculations behind and the levels of the thing. Exactly. So so much. So this is, uh, I don't go I mean, through I mean, all of the things. You see that uh, the, the colors are corresponding of what we are mm, doing. And just I mean, mm, I, another mm, subject I want to say. Uh, uh, previous slide? Yeah, pre previous one. So another thing is that there is uh, some of these are conscious and some of, them, some of them are unconscious. You know, the person, the fact that it says the main idea, it puts I mean, the, the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the syntax to tell you that this is important for him. But some of these are unconscious. That says that, but we realize, we do, thanks to our method, we understand. I mean, what uh, what uh, what are his needs or his her needs or you know, wants and all that. But the problem is that uh, they are unconscious. Uh, somehow, I mean, uh, he or she uh, somehow uh, gives up the information that maybe he or she is, uh, does not want. I mean, to do that. You know, that's really interesting also. So. And the next one, and again, okay. Let's just I mean back to, to, to the previous one. I wanted to give you information. Uh, uh, this text, um, I want to talk about the calls. Uh, I think I can talk it. I mean, thoroughly later. Let me explain. Sorry, sorry. Let me continue. Thank you, Alexander. 
Okay, so something I mean, you wanted to know how is the scores are calculated is really easy, is that what is the weight of uh, venue? The weight of venue is equal to some of the, the weight of its colors of atoms, for example, uh, the venue where it was represented one of the in venue the right other was here. So here has a score of one plus the score of the atoms to which it is associated. So we get there, it is the weight of the uh, of our, of our um, subject. Next one please. Okay. And <clears throat> you would say, okay, tell me uh, how comes that here goes to venue. This is, I mean, the only part of whole model that you need a manual uh, intervention of human. NLP never does, I mean, human. I mean, human is absolutely, I mean, absent on that. And this is also a problem is that, okay, you just take up a human, you can treat a millions of uh, texts, but you reduce the accuracy of your analysis because they are finally human better understand what humans say. So we make, I mean, we intervene human to create this dictionary, this we call it a nomenclature, which is, I mean, says that, okay, for this given I mean, kind of text, suppose that we study 10, 30, uh, 50 texts, then we give and we tell I mean, to a human being that's a little bit specialized on the, on the field, say that, look, uh, here goes to what? Says that, okay, here goes to venue for me. Then, for example, we say, am goes to what? We say that it goes to person. Uh, of course, it's more specialized because we are talking about economics and finance and all that. Then it takes and it makes and the nomenclature. This nomenclature is going to be applied for all the, once it's established, it's going to be applied for all the texts of the same, uh, on the, of, the, of the same nature. For example, we are talking about the calls here, I'll explain there later. This, we need, I mean, this nomenclature to be created, which means that this says that the menu, 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 has, for example, this, 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 this inside of it. Then, for example, another subject. So this is, I mean, a subject, and these are the atoms. For example, here, uh, am and all that, all these atoms. So they are representing a subject, an idea, an idea which human, I mean, wanted, I mean, to transmit. So this, I mean, these atoms are belonging to it in a groups of synonym. Synonym, they are somehow, I mean, synonym inside, I mean, the menu. And they are called a subject. Next one, please. So this manually is important. So as you understood, so what we call, I mean, uh, external boxes, internal boxes, intermediary boxes. Uh, it's more detail. It's too much details. What I tell you, uh, sometimes here as an atom, we have here, or sometimes we have sala g uh, trace o trace. So this also is a, is a menu. If I take only sala, or the number three does, so I lose, I mean, the meaning of the venue. So the R model puts all this together and makes, I mean, the, what we call it, I mean, the external atoms. Uh, uh, this is, I mean, the, um, in the officially, in NLP called n-grams. This means, I mean, more than one token. So we put them all together, it's three, for example, sala g, uh, trace or the trace or the trace, then it becomes also external atom, and it is part of, for example, the venues. It's one of the things. So you don't lose any information. Why this happens? Because a human classifies them, creates them in the one collector at a certain moment. So this is, I mean, um, I don't get I mean, inside of too much detail of that. Thank you. So <laughs> the other thing, uh, what I was uh, saying that concepts are conscious. The person when he speaks, Says he knows, I mean, talking about the main idea, first idea, perspective, knows that it's going toward what and all that. But I uh, can also understand what is his want, wants. Wants are in general wishful thinking. He said, oh, it would be great if we could really get, I mean, 50% of the share of the market in the, the next quarter. Well, it's wishful thinking. It's really, we can't see that. Uh, you know, we don't need I mean, to listen to him that says that he's so enthusiastic and maybe it's not really going to be realized. Needs are really in the, in the conscious requirements. But aspirations are unconscious urges which pitch push him forward. So this is unconscious, this is conscious. So in the really the levels of communication that we, you know, we do, we can I mean, distinguish between the conscious and the unconscious things that this person uh, is feeling and talking about. And uh, connotations, it's something interesting is that also we can give positive and negative or neutral uh, connotations. Uh, a person could be, I mean, given I mean, some, what's inside could have I mean, something positive. 
when we're talking about the people, friends, uh, close friends, close relations, and all that. But for example, uh, the uh, the venue can I mean get something neutral. I mean, okay, we are in this place. We could be I mean another place. It's completely neutral. This is what we do. I mean, we give to each subject positive, negative, or neutral uh, sentiments. That's even, even even like person is not always. Absolutely. This is why this is why I mean at the, at the aggregate level you make I mean the, the aggregate you see finally is positive comes up or negative comes up. Partner competitive. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But at the, when you put them in an aggregate at a certain moment you see I mean which one is really coming up and is more more important, has a more positive connotation. At a certain moment you know you cannot say I mean at the, the sentence uh, level, I mean you can really you need them I mean, to go I mean at the text and text is always aggregation, you see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next one please. Okay, this is, I mean, easy, I'll tell you in terms of the satisfaction, and how we calculate the satisfaction, is that we take, I mean, uh, to answer, I mean, your question is really precisely, we take all the associations between the, the atoms, associations with positives, we take, I mean, the, su the, the sum, for example, this four, then we take, I mean, if this here has associations with negatives, so the sum of the association with positives, Minus the association with the neg negatives and divided by I mean by other I mean association neutral and all that, so it gives uh, the satisfaction of an object. You see, I mean it's a basic real calculation. You don't need I mean to go so far to to get I mean the the idea out of the text. Next, please. Okay, so then at a certain moment we said that okay, great I mean to know that the satisfaction, but we want to know uh, the importance of the subject really. Now, what is really important for him at the aggregate level? So it is you said it's really easy. We take all the aggregate weight of venue, we multiply it by the satisfaction of venue, then you get I mean its utility, the level of importance of a subject. And you can rank that and you see I mean what is the most important I mean utility for him, the second, third and all so in the whole text. So you get I mean the ranking of the subject. This is I mean really the the the, the thing that helps us a lot <coughs> to find out, uh, okay, you say, uh, okay, this CEO talked uh, for, I don't know, an hour, finally, what was important for him? You can say, okay, the highest utility for him, the most important was inflation. Everything that he said is blah, blah, blah. Finally, what was really his focus was inflation, you see? Next one, please. Okay, so this is a real case, it is really completely hot. It's just out of the oven that we are, I'm showing you because I finished working on this last week. Uh, what we did, this is now I can explain to you. Every uh, quarter, CEOs of company, I mean the management of company, are doing what is called quarterly earning calls. It means that they have a call. You see, the, in general, I mean, it's written, but now it's not to explain anything. Uh, they have the company participants, the management of the company, in general, there is the, uh, the CFO of a company, then there is the head of investor relations, and finally, and the most important thing, is the C CEO, CEO of the company. This is them providing gui the guidance or guidance lines or whatever. Exactly, they explain, I mean, the, what, happened. Uh, what happened during the last uh, three months and... and give the expectations. Go. Exactly, Sorry, what is it? Results. results of the company. Also, they detail the results, the financial results, which has been released. I mean, that day or the day before. In general, I mean that day, that moment. So, yeah, and in general, I mean the calls are happening after that the stock exchange is closed. You know, because because if you if they do that in the middle and they say something, all the stock prices are going to release to people that are during the the this this exchange, um, the, the, uh, the 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 decision. Uh, these are uh, analysts. You know, in, uh, in traditionally in financial market. Uh, each company has an analyst that follows the, the company. This analyst's job is just reading the information about the, the company, study every detail of that. So you become I an mean, expert of, uh, for example, this company. For example, I suppose that, the, uh, of course, not suppose it. So of course, uh, uh, Petrobras has some experts, and these experts, which are analysts, they are, for example, in different uh, institution. Uh, it's re is it not written here, but I've chosen, I mean, not a detailed one. So sometimes it's really explained. That says this Brad Seals, for example, is from Bank of America. Uh, Brent uh, Barcelin, for example, is from Itaipu. Itaipu, sorry. Itaipu. Itaipu. Uh, for example, this one, yeah, yeah, this one, I mean, is from, uh, I don't know, the, uh, the J, uh, JP Morgan and all that. So each big institution has analysts that follow, I mean, the uh, specific uh, companies. So they uh, are there. <coughs> 
the, the company I am making them in the presentation. This is the first page of the transcript. This is the, the last one of the uh, last one of the uh, Microsoft. If I'm not mistaken, Microsoft's uh, annual year uh, finishes at. Uh, uh, end of June or September is a weird. I mean, this is not uh, going from January to, to December. It is. Uh, companies usually start in July and finish. And the many of them that they are in the California and especially in Silicon Valley that they do. I mean, like this. Anyway, this is not really important. Just a quarter one of 2023. And here, uh, what we did, we said that okay, this is the best moment to analyze, apply a model to in finance to see what CEO says. So when uh, the session starts, operator even says greetings, everybody, I uh, thank you so much for coming and all that. So uh, you can, I mean, also uh, in, uh, on the website of the company, when at the moment of the call, you can also, I mean, just I mean, to be connected and to listen to the thing. But these people, I mean, are connected to ask questions also. So the, uh, the operator, I mean, opens the thing, then uh, the investor relation uh, head uh, presents a small presentation and says that now our CEO is going to give, I mean, his speech. CEO, for example, in average for us, but if I say it in terms of the transcript, it talks between three to seven pages. I, I don't know I mean, how, how many minutes it talks, but for me, I mean, it's pages. We took I mean, those, uh, those uh, speech, we studied them one by one with our model, and we got I mean, to the, uh, we had all these I mean, uh, classifications, and we can say, for example, we can follow the sentiment of the CEO goes up, goes down, goes, I mean, from the, the quarter to another one. Uh, when, for example, the CEOs are changing, all of a sudden the system is changing, all of a sudden the satisfaction is going to up or coming down. Sometimes we can, if we study it well, we can feel that a CEO is going to leave. Is going to leave. I mean, they, it's something, I mean, really general. If you put them I in mean, many companies, I mean, together, you can do that. So what we did, we did applied that to all the companies of the Dow Jones that it was able, we were able to do the, the thing. You know, this is, I mean, you respect, I mean, the investors, if you go, I mean, to the call. There is some companies that they, they, the CEO does not go. It goes, I mean, only at the last quarter or the thing. So that makes our job, I mean, complicated because what he says is so important. If it does not come, I mean, we don't know. But in majority, they come. In majority, they come. There's a really huge company should be, I mean, that they don't come. Maybe a petroleum company, some of them, they don't come. So anyway, then it's explained. Uh, I see any dissatisfaction, I see utility. A subject which was important, very important, for example, last uh, quarter, becomes second for him. Third, or completely disappears, I mean, of all of the list. That's really amazing. Or, the, uh, we can say, I mean, this is, I mean, what we are working now, we haven't get that. Uh, if, uh, can you go to the seventh one, please? The seventh? Seventh, yeah, the seventh. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. This one. Right, uh, the, the sixth one, sorry. Okay, so. Uh, when uh, when he talks about prospectus, he, it means that where he wants to go. Okay, I look this perspective. I follow this. I say when it becomes the main idea of him. If systematically this comes, I mean main idea, it means that this company has a real strategy and a really strong one. So it's a company that wants to be invested on and goes or anything. If this uh, perspective never I mean go I mean main idea, it means that. It's a, it's just blah, blah, I mean, it's just, I mean, you know, as a friend in the French, you say that, no, I am a poisson, it really tries, I mean, to drown the, 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 the patient, the, 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 the fish. So, uh, this is, I mean, the, gives, I mean, so much, I mean, the information about the thing. If the inspirations, I mean, or the frustration, they change, it means that his, uh, his manner of thinking is changed. So, maybe, I mean, the, the, the company is really about to change completely, the overhaul happening in the company. So, maybe, I mean, it's time to, uh, to take out, I mean, the investments, because we don't know this company where it's going. So, another thing for prospects in the pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical company, the prospect sh must become, I mean, the main idea. If you don't have something in the pipeline, so your company is dying. If you don't have molecules that you are working with your prospect. So, for some, in this, uh, some sectors, this prospect is so important. For Home Depot, I don't know if you have Home Depot here, I mean, they, they sell, I mean, the tools and all that, or you know that. Home Depot, I mean, something is important, it's constant. You need, I mean, to be constant. Uh, you, you try and satisfy your clients, you have, I mean, the same thing and all that. If they, you don't have, I mean, this, the, the matter of constant continuity and all that is not here, you cannot make it. Can you go, I mean, to the last one, please? So this is uh, our, the last kind of secret, is that, you see, here are the returns of each, you know, we talk, uh, with what we have done. I explain them in detail. Okay. 
Okay, as I told you, each quarter, each quarter, each quarter there is, I mean, this call, okay? Uh, what we have done, we said that, okay, this call is happening here at this, this day. We exactly calculated a month in financial markets takes 21 days. It's a called uh, opening trading days, 21 days. So we calculate the return, rate of return, for this month, this month, that follows the date of the call, systematically. So we get, I mean, a level of the return. This is, I mean, we have a return here. So we did it exactly for all of them. Return, uh, the return of, for example, the two, return of three, and all that. So then here, we try to find out the satisfaction, the level of satisfaction. This is the correlation I mean between these two. Okay. There is a each uh, a point of satisfaction, one unit of satisfaction, increase of satisfaction, increases. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't. I mean, put the, the thing. It increases zero point. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, zero point six percent of the return. So if you see, I mean, the, the satisfaction increasing. That unit, in general, if you invest in a portfolio, you can make money in this like exchange. So just only based on this. This is, I mean, statistically, I mean, the um, proven the, the regression that they have made, I mean, is robust and shows that there's a relation between the satisfaction that we calculate for each CEO and the returns that happens during the months that we have. How that happens is that this satisfaction, suppose, for example, this look, it is like this, and then it happens like this. Okay. This satisfaction is high, so he's happy about something. But the, the thing that he's happy, we probably don't know. He cannot talk about it. He cannot talk about it. But it's see, it's it's a scene. We can I mean intercept it with all of our method in what is a real thing. So the market is going to 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 know that it is either an event. If for example, a company is going to win a trio. Uh, something, or for example, there is a I mean, they are finalizing a contract, but they cannot talk about it otherwise. I mean, they're winning, I mean, all the, the negotiations and all that. So they, finally, the information is going to be known during uh, the period is come. Since I mean, this is a quarterly, this information in general happens, I mean, quite soon. So as soon as the information is known, the stock prices are going to up. And this is why this correlation, I mean, could be shown. This was, I mean, the really the, the, the recent thing we are working, I mean, on other, I mean, fields and all that. We are, the, we try, I mean, to improve all. The, there is so much, I mean, could be done, I mean, in this field. But this was, I mean, I wanted absolutely to, to show you is uh, that we're really happy. I actually, I mean, just the night before that I leave, we got, I mean, to this result. After that, we were really studying, I mean, the months and months, I mean, the calls that we got that. We are going to expand that. We are going to apply it, I mean, to other things. But now you are aware about the most recent I mean, result. Uh, if you study well, I mean, the text and apply in mean, the methods, you can, I mean, find some information that the rest of the market does not. I'm done. Thank you so much. Uh, well, you, you say that this correlation line here is, is the one that is, what, it's inclined by 0 0.6. 0 0.6, it should be 0 and 0.6. is that enough for you to make a lot of money in the market? That's a really great question. Uh, in financial market, you cannot find, I mean, the mertangle, I mean, you know, the thing that uh, you invest and systematically you are going to win. Uh, you only, you can, I mean, make money if you invest cross-sectionally. It means that you make, I mean, a portfolio that it is portfolio given and using, I mean, this, uh, the information and composing the portfolio, which at least, at least, I think, I mean, should be 30, I mean, uh, uh, the 30, I mean, the um, uh, products based on this. This should work. If you want, I mean, just uh, to, to to invest in one or a few one, so no, that's really too risky. This is really works when there is, I mean, enough, I mean, important investment, investment, I mean, the, the products to invest, cross-sectional investment. Questions? And if anyone from the audience also uh, have questions there, uh, people that are remotely, I don't know, Eduardo, do you have any questions? It's not her field. That much, I, did, I think she's a marketing girl. No, don't put any pressure to on the people. No. Uh, actually, I forgot to say uh, this is really great that you talked about marketing. Is that actually the company was applying uh, its method to marketing and human resources so far? Mm -hmm. I have been brought I mean, on to talk about uh, really, I mean, this um, at least I uh, to work, I mean, on the finance, and we have a nice recent result. For example, in the past, uh, company what was doing is that 
uh, a new a company was launching a product. We were getting I mean, the, the reactions of uh, clients to that product, and we tried to find out what they are really they really want. Mm -hmm. So this, and we were telling I mean, to the company, look, the company wants I mean, the, the, sorry, the, 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 the consumers I mean, they are wanting this of your product. For example, in the past, that happened. I mean, uh, since that we uh, were uh, uh, doing I mean, in Canada, Bank of Montreal was launching, for example, the saving um, uh, product, but it was not working. Well, it was not working, sorry. And they asked us. They did. I mean, this uh, the, the, this uh, pool asking. I mean, their uh, their consumers, what do you want? So they were writing. I mean, think. But in aggregate, they were not understanding what it means. So we did I mean, our analysis and explained to them exactly what your clients want. They launched it. Success. Total success of this. That saving product that had been launched by the bank. So you're actually who's the, the guy who's bringing finance into the into the, the know-how of this. Know-how exactly right. of this. Have, you, have you had any chance of checking what that guy from the Silicon Valley bank uh, so, was saying in the, the previous quarter? Or <laughs> that's, that's what we, actually. I mean, this is exactly what people. I mean, they tell us. I mean, why you are not working with the regulators? Because regulators they want to know. I mean, the watchdog, the financial markets. Uh, what? Who is I mean, the fraud? The one who is uh, wrongdoing? Who's lying? Who's uh, who's uh, upset? Who's Absolutely. sad? Or but the thing, at the, then I mean, we are you come, I mean, the, the one who is going really to catch, I mean, the, the thief. And we then, don't then, want then, then you're going to be sort of minority report, right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> you get there before the problem happens and say, look, I don't know so what the problem is, but don't there's going to be. We don't want to go that for instance. <laughs> uh, neither I mean politics, uh, you know. Neither I mean politics, we don't want I mean, to go that. But I know, uh, already I mean, to understanding, giving I mean, some insights in the market, I already I mean, it's really so satisfying. Other thing is that in finance, it's really tough. In marketing, you tell I mean, to the people, uh, yeah, people want this. So, oh, okay, this is this, or we are going to make our product on that. In marketing, there is less um, proof of concept that you are explaining. But in finance, it's your money, you invest. If, for example, I tell you I'm satisfaction increase, invest, and you, you don't make money, and you lose money, it really happens, I mean, you lose money. So this is, I mean, so tough to prove our concepts in finance. And I'm really happy that we are on the way to, to explain, to, to, to show it, I mean, that it works in this uh, field. Yeah, in this, in this thing, like marketing, or like product design, or something, Test the hypothesis, all they buy or they not buy my idea, but in this case, if uh, we cannot test and fail, yeah, someone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, yeah, this is the money of the people, you know. You cannot, uh, the, so, this is, I think, so much I mean, could be done in this field, but the cost is something this is really the most important because it's uh, the, the data that everybody really studies. You saw, I mean, the army of the analysts that are working on the, on the, work, on the cost. So, this is the other subject on that. We can go I mean, to further into one of the subjects also. Mm -hmm. Right, in the, in other questions? No? Okay. Also, thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. A missão declarada é essa, mas o que eles realmente pensam é isso. De uma maneira, uh, a gente... Isso são as metas, né? Absolutamente. Uh, de uma maneira, de, de, se acredita, eles acreditam 
Ok, o que eles estão uh, dizendo? Uh, dizendo, exatamente. dizendo, exatamente. Uh, quando, quando não acreditam mais, esse baixa. 